Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I'd do a Fish Fan Friday kind of video for you guys because I know there's a lot of YouTubers who do this, at least YouTubers who have fish videos, fish channels, or whatever you want to call them. So today's going to be basically on my mystery snails because I kind of want to talk about them and talk about how they're doing and and kind of just give a whole update on the fish themselves. So with that being said, the fish were um, laid into a batch or whatever on the um, December, or no, sorry, on November 18th is when they were laid, you know, and all that stuff. And it usually takes them about two weeks to hatch for mystery snails. And that is exactly the amount of when it took mine to hatch. So mine hatched on December 2nd of 2017 so these are last year's batch of snails and this is my first batch of snails ever to really have so super excited about these guys um there's a hundred you probably can't see half of them in here but there's a hundred in here if not more um i hope it's not more but there really is a lot when they say snails have a lot of babies guys they have a lot of babies it's no joke so they're currently in my um, shrimp tank. I kind of feel like this was a horrible idea to put them, horrible place to put them in, but now I know in the future not to put them in here, but I probably will put them in here again in the future, in, like another batch if they ever have more or something, which they probably will. Um, I put them in here the second they hatched. I threw them in there and, the, and I'll, I can actually show you guys how to breed um, mystery snails or whatever. Or not how to breed because it's simple how to breed them whatever but how to um like keep their clutch of eggs or whatever in a safe place so that they can hatch which is what i did and i learned them from another youtuber so i can do a video of that on a separate video or another video and show you guys how to do that that's actually a very very good idea um so yeah they're about um a month old i would say yeah, a month old. I think. Or two months old. Yeah, two months old. Yes, two months old. So this is them here. As you can see, there is a lot. They're living with um, the shrimp in here and a couple of my guppy fry in here. I like to throw guppy fry in here and stuff. But I always end up regretting it because they are hard to take out. And these snails are hard to take out. I already took out about 10 or so of them. And I have them in my other tank where my other baby fish are. So, yeah, I also have a gold mystery snail there, by the way, guys. I'm super excited for that one. Or whatever. They call them white ivory snails. I don't know. Just super excited for that one. I'm going to throw in some zucchini so you guys can get a better view of them. And as you can see, some of them do drop themselves from above to the floor and yeah let me go grab some zucchini so here is a clip of them a little bit closer oop and the guppies are eating whatever they're eating but this is some of them right here I dropped in two of the zucchinis I don't know where the other one went oh it's right there it's look it looked like a leaf right there and then there's that one there's already snails going to it they go so quickly there's already two of them on that one. Already two of them on here. But yeah, let me feed the guppies real quick, you guys, so we can focus on the snails. So I just fed them. Probably they're gonna go a little bit nuts, but whatever. It's it was time that I fed them anyways. So they're all starting to go down and go towards the um zucchini that I just dropped and I dropped it in so I can show you them all together a little bit closer and all that good stuff so yeah I have a whole bunch of um, snails a lot of mystery snails these are the black mystery snails that I have here by the way so so many of them some of them are bigger than the others if you if you look closely you kind of can compare the sizes in them for example the, that one that just fell is smaller than these guys here there are some that are really, really smaller, and then there's some bigger ones. Oh, look at that beautiful red ch cherry shrimp, guys. 
I'm getting lots of nice red colored strip. What I'm trying to do, I was going to, um, actually this whole tank, this is kind of off topic from this video, but it's supposed to be, um, just shrimp, but I've slowly added some snails, and I've slowly added all of my, um, mystery snails here, and, it, and I'm just loving the shrimp in here guys the colors are starting to look really nice even though there's different types there's the red reallys in here i don't remember if i bought the red reallys or if they bred like that i don't remember i have to check my amazon orders but it's either one of the two whoops there you go but anyways um the snails are doing great what i feed them normally guys is just pellet food simple shrimp pellets they eat those that's what i fed for the first few days until they were a little bit bigger maybe a month or so older to eat the um, zucchinis and some of the veggies and things that you could put in there and how I got this many snails guys it started off by me going to Petco one day seeing a huge black mystery snail that I fell in love with adopted that one took it bought it home and then not even that long she laid a batch of eggs on top of my head tank up there and I was like hmm interesting so I moved it I moved the clutch which is what you call a batch of eggs of snails. Um, I moved it, kind of, look, they look like bubble gum, by the way. It looks like a whole bubble gum chewed up. Um, I moved it into a little black um, plastic hand express bowl that they give you for to go or whatever. And yeah, bread them like that. I'm sorry guys, but these, these red shrimp are looking beautiful lately. Like, holy smokes. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but that is a very nice red. There's a couple up here if you can see too. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Just just look how beautiful that one down there looks. And then that red really right there, gorgeous. Anyways, so yeah, I got one of the female snails and it laid an egg and or laid eggs and then boom, ended up with a lot. The mother did not make it. She kind of I accidentally dropped her at one point, I'm not gonna lie. Because I lifted up the lid and sometimes they get onto the lid and they fall, but they usually fall back in the tank, which is in a high fall, but this one fell somehow off the tank rolled onto the floor and it cr and I don't know if the shell cracked or if the fall was too hard but after that it just did not move and it died it was just I don't know what was up with it but she left me with lots of beautiful babies so she left me with a beautiful gift which I'm so so happy about and I will be taking some of them out I did add one of them to my 29 but my f fish attacked it so I put it back in the other tank and I'm gonna add them when they're a little bit bigger just so I don't have to worry about them looking like a snack to my fish or whatever um <clears throat> they do great in here with my guppies right now i will be keeping probably a few in here but i'm slowly going to get them out and they're slowly coming out of the water i think from what i'm noticing so i'm gonna have to take them out and just make sure once i put them into my 29 gallon just where the majority of them are gonna go until i rehome some of them or whatever and um yeah, maybe I'll probably, I want to set up like a little small outdoor pond area kind of in a little, um, what you call it, like I don't know how to describe it, but I want to set up like a flower pot with just water and make into like a little outdoor tank area for these guys. I think that would be really, really cool. I also want to try doing that. Um, yeah, they do poop a lot though guys, snails, especially having this many, I believe this is like a 5 gallon or a 6 point gallon or something like that. I don't know how big it is, but 100 snails in here, this is not good because if you know they can get really big jumbo size like this. I probably have the shell of the mother in here still, I haven't took it out, but here's the mystery gold one right there, she's beautiful. The mother was about this size to times two, so she was pretty big. But I'm just so, so excited for these guys, you guys. Haha, <laughs> for these guys, you guys. They're very, very beautiful um, snails when they get older, too. They're called Black Mystery Snails again. I would kind of sell them to people, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how the shipping works and all that stuff. So I'm probably not going to be doing that anytime soon. Maybe the next few batches or so once I figure that out, I can do that. Because maybe some of you guys would want some. I believe they do go for $1.99 in the pet stores if it's how much i bought mine for so yeah oh here she goes they move pretty fast if you just sit still and watch them like look at her she's just gliding through I'm trying to hold this without shaking my hand is so clumsy it shakes sometimes like my left hand 
so yeah this is it there's a whole bunch as you can see they're all coming out they've all covered that zucchini over there all covered up and i do like this tank setup it's looking very very beautiful i love the, the red cherry shrimps in here that i have are very nice looking now i have another zucchini floating up there i decided to let that one float for the shrimp if they want to eat it because the snails <clears throat> as you can see in here they take over really really quickly Look at that shrimp just walking all over them. As you can see the comparison size here, there's a small one and there's a bigger one there. So you can definitely see different sizes of the snails here. But yeah, um, this is the tank set up for them. This is where they were when they were first born. I just threw them in here. The filter didn't suck them up, thankfully. Thank God. They're perfectly fine. They're A-OK. -okay. And yeah, I hope you guys kind of like this update. I will do another update. These are, I believe, two months old. Um, yeah, they were born on December 18, I think, no, December 2nd, sorry. They were born December 2nd, but they were hatched November 18th. That's what it is, I think, yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll definitely do another update really, really soon. See you guys in another video.